Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Dime 118 and today it's finally to I know international breaks over. I'm back. I know I said I was back, and then I went away for two weeks again. But what was I meant to make in the international break? It was absolutely nothing that happened. It was boring. It was futile. I was actually going to do a match preview for the Hamilton game at the weekend there, uh, and then that kind of fell through, and I, I felt like there was no point in reviewing the game without responding to my preview of the game. So I was waiting until this, and I've left it a bit late. Obviously, the game kicks off tonight, um, but we're here anyway, and you're here to hear my predictions, my preview for the match tonight. It's Celtic finally open their European campaign, the proper European campaign, for the 2019-20 season as we head into the Europa League. And our first match day away from home as we head over to France to take on Stad Ren, as I'll refer to as Ren in the rest of the video. Not an easy game by any means, but I'm going into this Europa League campaign with a lot of optimism, a lot of ambition, and I believe we can make a mark in the competition this year. Last year, obviously, we made it to the round of 32 where we were put out by Valencia. What a cracking holiday that gave me, so I can't complain. Um, this year, hoping for more of the same, maybe even further. I mean, if you look at what Christopher Julian is saying, if you've not already kept up with that, he thinks we can go the whole way. He thinks we can win it. Uh, which would be amazing. I mean, I would be, I'd be on the piss for about three months straight. It'd be fantastic. Look, if we manage to win the Europa League, um, I honestly think I would just retire a happy man. Um, I, 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 I wouldn't work the rest of my life. I, I think that would be it. Uh, no funding, just crates upon crates of tenants super lager, and uh, we'd be ready to go. But no, it's in, in, all, in all seriousness, winning the Europa League is obviously in the state of modern football. Far from realistic for Celtic, it is something that it is just it, it looks impossible when you look at the teams and the money spent from the competition. The teams who you know should be in the Champions League, perhaps with the the stats of the 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 club, you know the Man United, the Arsenal's, um, you know those sort of clubs are in the Europa League and they're spending you know two hundred, three hundred million pounds a season, and we're expected to compete with those teams. It's not a realistic, um opportunity for Celtic to go and win the Europa League but we can certainly try and make a mark we can try and make some upsets and that is what I am hoping for this season as it kicks off as I said against Rennes so let's talk a bit more about that match Rennes right now are have started their season pretty well sitting second in Laguna and if your memory is good enough to serve you about two months we also did play Rennes at the start of the season in a pre-season friendly match which shouldn't give us any form of indication of how this match should go tonight or the return leg at Celtic Park. The match at Celtic Park uh, a couple of months back in that friendly, no team, no team was wanting to play football that day. You could see it, it ended 0-0 of course, you know, Celtic fielded the, the kind of, you know, your Luca Connells and such. It's just one of those games where I want to give guys a try, but it looked as though nobody wanted to play football, nobody was really hungry. And honestly, yeah, Ren were probably on top that day, but I wouldn't take that as any form of indication as to how this game will pan out this evening no sort of you know football and ability was shown that day but tonight you know as the start of the group campaign and Celtic have obviously been handed it tough with having to be away from home first we know what Celtic are away from home in Europe what they're like you know we know what it's like it's disastrous the majority of the time it is it's horrible to watch but can we go over to France tonight and get something from Stade Ren? now Ren. As I said, sitting second in Ligue 1 right now, they won the French Cup last season, a fantastic achievement for the squad, because you look at their team, right, and you look at the players that they've got, their, their goal scorer is, is Niang, who they brought in from Torino, used to play for, I believe, Watford, um, it was an English team anyway, Niang anyway, uh, Jeremy Morel, Clement Grenier, these are all players, right, you look at the squad piled up, and there are some good, talented players there, some really young players as well, um, one of the boys, 16 year old, who has been, you know, spoke about a lot, uh, is Eduardo, no, his, his second name, I, I want to try and pronounce it well here, you'll see me looking at my notes, um, Camavinga, I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but he's only 16, the boy, and he's been in the team this season, and fans are raving about him. Um, he's, when you type in Ren and Ren player stats, he's the first thing that will come up because he's so young and he looks like a player. He looks like a really good player. So Celtic are going up a team that, you know, I would look at it and go, that's a team that Celtic are capable of beating, but they seem to have things going well for them between the squad. It's like one of those situations where the 11 players click. They might not be the greatest 11 players on the part, but they click, they get each other, they're playing good football, they're flowing well, and they, you know, they've started the season incredibly well after coming off the back of a French Cup win. 
And now they're in Europa League where they'll probably fancy their chances of number one, getting through this group despite being the third seeded team. And number two, going far in the competition because of how well they performed last season in the cup competition in France and how well they've started this season. In fact, if you don't know, they've already beaten PSG this season, which is not an easy task. You look at that PSG side, which dominates uh, Ligue 1. Neymar, your Mbappe, your Cavani, your Icardis, you know... That's a team that dominates France and they managed to get a result of them. I think it was the first game of the season, maybe the second. This is a team that's not going to be easy to beat tonight. But if Celtic go away from home and they give us the sort of performance that, you know, Neil Lennon has kind of, you know, brought together on this Celtic side. You know, going out, attacking football, don't give them the space to breathe sort of thing. You know, if we can just get together and not sit back and not take all their pressure, and not shit ourselves, then tonight we actually could stand a chance. Like, I'm not going to get my hopes up. The realistic opinion, the realistic sort of prediction to give is the same thing will happen. What happens every time we go away from home in Europe, we'll shit the bed. The last time we played away from home in Europe in a non-qualifying match, I thought we performed fantastically against Valencia um, that day in February. I thought we were brilliant, we were unlucky. If Toljan wasn't sent off, then perhaps we could have got maybe a draw from that game over in Valencia. We performed very well that night and we were incredibly unlucky. We should have took more of our chances. We should have tried to keep 11 men in the park. If we can perform to that standard against a team which has got far less quality than that Valencia side did, no, no disrespect to Ren. I'm respecting the opposition here. No disrespect to him. But if we can perform to that standard, which a lot of these players now have played in Europe for many years. You know, you look at McGregor, who's played in Europe now for a good few seasons. Fraser Forster coming back into Europe, who has obviously had historic Champions League performances. Uh, you've got, you know, you've got players all around the park who've played in Europe now for consecutive seasons. You've got to expect Edouard to turn up and have a big game, treat this game like he treats, you know, the old fun games and, uh, and just get goals. The weight on Celtic fans' mind is why? Why should uh, the weight on maybe other people's minds? Maybe not so much Celtic fans, because I believe Celtic fans will go on with a lot of optimism tonight. But I believe the weight on people's minds will be: if we couldn't do it against Cluj, how the hell are we going to do it against Stad Rennes, who are sitting second in one of the top leagues in Europe? Now, I believe that since that game in Cluj, we've rallied together better. The team have, you know, got behind each other. They've got behind Neil Lennon, and we look a far better side. I'm not saying that means we're going to go over to the Ren and win tonight, but I, I do believe there has been a lot of changes, uh, especially attitude-wise, in that Celtic squad since Cluj knocked us out of the Champions League. So tonight I'm heading into the game with some optimism. As for the squad, you know, the, the squad is potentially going to be as strong as it can be. We played our strongest team at the weekend against Hamilton, where we only won 1-0, but it was a difficult game. Let's not forget that Hamilton had, you know, 10 players in the box whenever we approached it. If we have our strongest team out in the field tonight, it is a team that is perfectly capable of beating this Ren side. Especially at Celtic Park, not so much away from home because we know what usually happens. Celtic fans have got to go over the night make their presence known. The team has got to make their presence known on the park. We can't have any of this normal behaviour when we play away from home in Europe where we sit back and we just try and, you know, defend and absorb and nothing happens going forward. We get the odd chance that just doesn't do anything for the team. The chances are, are you know, they're, they're stale. They don't you know, make us go, come on, make more of that. It's, it's not that. It's, it's, it's really stale attacks when we're away from home in Europe and we can't have any of that. There have been performances away from home in Europe, notably uh, scattered over the past few years. We need one of those tonight because we want to start the campaign as well as possible. Because this is a group, which I've already said, is capable of getting through. Last year, I believe we got handed the toughest Europa League group we possibly could ever get. You know, you're looking at Leipzig, Rosenborg and Salzburg. Three top, top teams. In, in their respective seasons. This year, we've been handed Lazio, Rennes and Cluj. We need to finish the top two to get through. You know the rules. And we could do that, but we need to start off well tonight. As for my predictions for the team, because I've kind of rambled and rambled on, uh, I think Forster will have to start in goals. Quite, quite straightforward. Now, the fitness issues at the back, I'm not too sure. I might not start. Obviously, he went off at the weekend. Um, so, if Ayer is injured, which I hope not, I believe it will be Bauer, El Ahmed, uh, Semyonovic and... Bolly Ball and Golly. In the middle, I think we're going to st st see the same three of Christy McGregor Brown and then Forrest out in the right. I do believe El Yanusi will start on the left over Johnson and Edward up top. A team perfectly capable, if they play their best football, to go out and get a result tonight. It's always ifs and buts, isn't it? But you want to be optimistic, in a sense. My prediction for the final score, oh God, do we go optimistic? Do I make an arse of myself? Do you know what? I'm actually going to sit, play it safe. I'm going to say one all. 
at Wren tonight. Um, I do believe we can beat them at Celtic Park when the return leg comes round. But they are, I'm going to go for one all this evening. Edouard Bag in the Celtic goal. But come on, Celtic, get us through to that 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 knockout stage again. Give us the excitement. Bring us the thunder. Neil Lennon, you've had historic Champions League performances before. This is Europa League. Do it in this level. It's easier. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to leave your predictions below, please feel free. And I'll see you all next time.